What's going on guys? Pegasus and the Wise Guys. Appreciate you for tuning in. It's actually me on this side instead of behind there. You know, that's awkward. That's very awkward. Shout out to this pleb over here. Anyways, um, we top four with Drytron, so we're just doing a Drytron profile because can't ever have too much Drytron on YouTube, can we? Anyway, <laughs> I played uh, three Diviner because you have to. I don't... I'm not gonna talk for two minutes on theory on Diviner. You know exactly why Diviner is Diviner. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Alpha, Zeta, forgive me for the rare. People won't let them go. Um, I'm playing eight names right now because um, I'm still playing Prosperity. I, I, the card is ridiculous. I, the math is ridiculous, so it is what it is. Um, I didn't play the field spell today. I kind of recommend it, kind of don't. It's kind of up to you. Um, it's kind of, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it to you, but I feel like I saw the names all day just fine. But I understand playing 10 names and no pot of prosperity. As far as the bling, you know, shout out to the orange lights. Bling, blinging out here in the street. Um, three drolls. Don't have any idea how I feel about that. I just feel like blanking somebody's turn is always relatively decent. I played Ash, but in my opinion, Ash actually isn't super duper amazing right now. It's just, it's so generic, it's good <laughs> because it's so generic. But I kind of want this to be Ghost Bell. I'm gonna play test with it. And I also have another build where um, if I get drolled, the Andres Torres thing, um, this is three Crow and three Valor, and then, or two Crows, a Lancia, and then three Valor that way. Diviner, send the Lancia, the whole play with that and the Drytron to make the Chaos Ruler. And then if you mill, you'll mill the Crow or the Valor. You can do all that. You can try that out. This could also be, one of these could be Droplet. It, it's really everybody's just kind of trying to hunt this new format. And uh, we sort of played it today. A few people were still playing Dryden. Shout out to Ricky. Check it um, out. <laughs> joking. <laughs> Shout out to Ricky. Um, double Eva, um, when people say, oh, I'm only playing one Eva and two ones, I think that's ridiculous and stupid. Like, why not just completely wipe the game out? Um, there are other rituals. So you, there are some bills that you don't play these. You can just play these. And I love those bills, and they make perfect sense. However, these are so unfair sometimes that it's just like, you got to play them, man. Just Pray that you don't open Natasha when you go turn zero because that's awful. But other than that, opening anything, you know, opening any of these is, is just fine. Cause just because you can get there, it's a card to interact with. Um, I really love Natasha. <laughs> Everybody knows what Natasha does when she starts yanking stuff on your side of the board. After you've broken their board or blanked it with a dark ruler or whatever, it's just so ignorant. Um, I'm still playing three pot of prosperity, but again, you can take these out. You can make more names. You can play uh, Fafnir instead uh, to have more names, to get to more names. You don't have to play prosperity, but I just like drawing certain cards. So that's why I'm playing it. Um, you'll see in my side deck. Um, three Nova, three Emergency, and then the, the one offs, Foolish, uh, the Ritual Spell, shout out to the Collector's Rare, Call by the Grave and Instant Fusion. Um, Instant Fusion is such a weird card. I wish it was a better card than it is. Um, if you don't open it, you really, you pot of prosperity, the millennium eyes half the time, like probably 75% of the time actually. But if you do open it, it is insane. You know, it just sort of walks into the Biru, but other than that, it stops whatever you need it to stop, which is why you play it. In the extra deck, um, I play two Mubeta. Um, I feel that's correct. You can get away with one. 100% you can get away with one. It's not mandatory. However, having it makes your long game way, way better. And if they draw you, people sometimes don't know about the, the big ritual guy. And this next to it, this is a spell and trap negate. You have to read, like, read through the paragraph and then like the end of the paragraph, it says that. So just make sure you know that because if you get drolled, you can like end on stuff like this and this with a material and you have a spell of trap negate and then a double pop. So then the droll really didn't mean anything. Um, I think Mubate is pretty self-explanatory after that. Um, the Zeus, as far as the other exceeds, um, the Zeus, the Beatrice, which people are saying, this should be banned. It's 
shut up. And um, assembled Nightingale. I still feel this is correct. It's really, really powerful. Um, the rest of it is self-explanatory. You gotta know the Zeus plays. It's a machine, don't forget that. Some people don't still don't know that. So I'm just mentioning that again, it's a machine. So the ritual spell can tribute it off for more shenanigans after you wipe a board, which happens a lot. Um, double arc light, this is correct in my opinion. This is correct because you wanna be able to continue the game, not just on your turn zero or in your opening turn, but as the game keeps going because it allows you to keep going because you get a ritual into your hand and you just go downhill from there for your opponent. You know, they get kind of screwed after that. Um, the Millennium Eyes, the Instant Fusion uh, target um, to out whatever hand trap, like Psycho Reader, Draw, whatever, whatever is gonna give you a pain in the ass. Um, the Intus, for obvious reasons, because you it's a fairy that you have to have as utility for when you go second with Diviner. Uh, Link Rebo, Mascarena, Nightmare Phoenix, Unicorn. Um, they're all super duper self-explanatory. Appaloosa and Boral Sword. I'm not, I didn't play Access Code Talker today. I don't think it really mattered that much because most of the time I can eye to 10 loop it over and over again. Um, some people don't know that. So just mentioning really, really quickly, you can summon this and then continuously tribute it off with each of the Drytron names. And that gives you a huge attack boost. Like I've had, um, I've had this guy at 8,000 before and attacked everybody on the board, which is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Um, that didn't happen today, but it has happened a lot, especially online. I played in the online tournament last week. Um, but my build is way different because, you know, ban list happened and didn't know about it. Um, and in the side deck, it's whatever your meta is. But in my opinion, this is like the sauce, except for I'm not playing alpha today. Now, in my opinion, um, Harpy's Feather Duster isn't going to resolve like that. And then most of the time they're going to have the answer for it anyway. Um, the twin chain, or for the schism stuff, you know, or just being able to just wipe your opponent out. Um, the reboot is reboot. Reboot is at one for a reason because it's an extraordinarily powerful card. Um, the dark rulers and the droplets. You want to break boards. Um, I really feel like you can. I don't. I don't understand this format enough because we're not actually all the way into it. This may be able to completely break through something. It's just, do you want to play the hand trap game? Do you want to just completely walk over something? It depends on what it is. Uh, the Lancia, just because, you know, Lancia is searchable and it's Lancia and it just completely wipes the floor with Tri Brigade. Um, and then Evenly is also for Tri Brigade because they don't play an answer, which if you look at, you can literally, don't take my word for it, go look at all the deck lists. They don't play an answer for it. And they they all they kind of put all of their stuff out on the table like that, and they walk right into evenly. But evenly also is for all these control decks that are about to be in the format, and some of them aren't aren't playing answers either. You know, like the Sky Striker deck is playing a uh, different dimension ground, and they're not playing Solemn anymore. I'm like, okay, enjoy. So that that's pretty much my thought process behind this. This is a rogue deck killer. This can also be Alpha, the Master of Beasts, for the Appaloosa. Um, in certain decks that can make Appaloosa, but I feel like this is better against more decks. And you're, you know, I'm in Kansas City. This is Rogue Deck Kingdom, so evenly, it's a great, great help. Shout out to this pleb over here because he has an odd eyes profile coming. And Pegasus is out. YG, baby.